to cash that is coming under accounts receivable so r to r coming under gl so from today onwards we'll start to to pay accounts payable for to, to pay okay so now i'm sharing the screen so please check from your end my screen is visible or not It's visible, sir. It's visible, sir. Okay. Sir, it's visible. Yeah, okay. So we start from P2P cycle. This is the P2P cycle flow. Okay. Almost all the entry in IT also, non-IT also, they will ask this question. P2P cycle and O2P cycle. Okay. So here you can see the diagram. So it starts from purchase request and purchase order, goods received, invoice received, and finally payment. So this purchase request to purchase order goods receipts this are all coming under MM model, material and management. This invoice and the payment involved in FI, FI team. This two area only we are involving FI. This three area coming under MM. Okay. So first I am giving the definition for purchase request. So what is purchase request means? Uh, invoice. PO. Yeah, PO. Means uh, what kind of product actually you have to buy? So you have to decide here. So that is called purchase request. Here you can see this purchase request needs to have the information like name of material, service, quantity, expected date of delivery, and the expected price. This is all coming under purchase request. Okay. Then after that, once you create the purchase request, now then finance department they will approve this purchase request. Okay. Once the approval is done. Then the second process is purchase order. So based on the purchase request, we are creating the purchase order here. In the purchase order, what other information you can see, like uh, order type, vendor name, materials, service, quantity, price, delivery date, terms of payment. This are all coming under purchase order. So this purchase order will send to vendor. After that, vendor will see the purchase order. Then after that, they will send the goods to us. Okay. Then finally, once we receive the goods from the vendor, we are calling GR. GR means goods received. So in live, actually, we are using the T code for GR is MyGo. So here the journal entry is debit inventory account or credit GRIR account. GRIR means goods received, invoice received account. How much you received, how much you ordered. So that is the meaning. Once everything is matching here, then I'll come for the invoice receipt means invoice posting. In live, actually, I'm using the T code Myro. So that journal entry here, debit GRIR to credit vendor account. So this is the journal entry for invoice posting. And finally, vendor payment here, outgoing payment. So why I'm telling outgoing payment? You are purchasing the goods from the vendor. For the goods, actually, you have to pay the cash, right? So that is why we are calling here outgoing payment. Here the journal entry is debit vendor to credit bank clearing account, the journal entry. And then finally from the bank side only they'll do the payment to the vendor. So from the bank side, what is the journal entry? Debit bank clearing account and credit main bank account. Okay. So all the journal entry is very important in P2P. So finally, overall procure to pay, summarize. It starts from purchase request and purchase order, goods received, Invoice received, finally outgoing payment. So this is P2P cycle summaries. So you have to mark up all these points, including the journal entry also. You understand what I'm telling here, right? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So now we'll come for the configuration. First configuration I have to do, you can see here vendor account group, OBD3. So why I'm doing this configuration, there are three types of vendor, domestic vendor, international vendor, and one-time vendor. So domestic vendor, you know the meaning, and international vendor also, you know the meaning. One-time vendor means they are doing only one-time business. They are not doing regular business with us. That is called one-time vendor. So this is the area we are deciding the vendor, domestic or international or one-time. So the decode is OBD3. Last time I told you one more point also, account groups control master data. In GL, the master data is FS00. 
here the master data is xk01 so this vendor account group controls xk01 okay so now we'll go for the configuration So the T code I'm using for vendor account group slash n obd3 is the T code and uh, go to new entries and uh, what is your company code? AL 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 Update here AL instead of any four characters so for your understanding I'll update here AL AL and uh, here I'm giving the description. Right now I'm creating domestic vendor for your company code ALA. And here you can see one time account. Only for one time vendor I'm using this option. So if I'm selecting this, then you have to update vendor. Means that one time vendor bank details two times. One in vendor master data and in posting time. Okay, this is only for one time vendor. So right now I'm creating domestic vendor. So no need to select this option. And here you can see general data. General data means client data. So what and all you need in the master data you can see here. So double click on address. You can see here name, street, district, region, post box number, everything, right? So this is all coming under master data in XK01. So here only I have to decide which is mandatory field, which is not mandatory field as per the business. Okay, so that's why we are calling general data. This is client data. So where I can see the field in XK01, I can see the field. Okay. As for the business, we have to select the option here. And the second one, you can see here company code data. Company code data means FI data. So here only FI team they'll involve. So double click here and double click on account management. Here you can see reconciliation account. So reconciliation account means I have to maintain two types of account in the business. One is vendor side and one more is company side. At the end of the month, I have to match the account, how much incoming, how much outgoing in the business. That is called a reconciliation account. So right now we are in the accounts payable. Here the reconciliation account is sundry creators. So why sundry creators means because we are purchasing the material from the vendor. For the material actually we have to pay, that is liabilities for us. So that is why here I have to create sundry creators as a reconciliation account. Make it as a record entry and the short key in GL, you know, I'm using 001 posting date and here the short key is 012 vendor number. Make it as a record entry and select this option next to group. And here you can see terms of payment. Terms of payment means within how many days I have to do the payment for the vendor then how much I have to give the discount for the vendor. That is called terms of payment. Make it as a record entry and save it. So this three option is mandatory from the finance team. And finally, you can see here purchasing data. This is coming under MM model. So MM team, they will involve here based on that option, based on the business actually, they have to select the option here. Okay, this is coming under MM, purchasing data. So general data means Client data, company code data means FI data, purchasing data means MM data. So right now my vendor is domestic vendor, right now my account group is EAL. Okay. 
like this you have to create the account group in accounts payable now we'll come for the next two configuration creation of number range to vendor account group xk and one so now we'll go to xk and one slash n xk and one click on intervals and uh, right now i'm using online server so that is why you can see so many numbers are there in case if you are using offline server we have to go to this option click on intervals create the number range like this then give the number from one to anyway you know how to create the number so for time being here i will select this number 39 so here you can see 70,000 to 70,500 so what is the meaning for that i can create up to 500 vendors right now in the business and here you can see 64 64 means already someone has created 64 vendors okay so right now this number 39 okay i'm assigning in the next two configuration see for me 39 is available okay my server is different try to understand yourself from here and what you have to do you have to go to interval then you have to create the number any two characters okay so this 39 I'm assigning here, assign number ranges to vendor account group OBAS. So now we'll go to OBAS slash n OBAS. Click on position. Update your account group what you created in the previous steps. AO, 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 or what actually? What is that? I forgot that. AL, AL. Hello? Yeah, yes. Okay. Slash N O B A S. Position. Update here. Yeah, yeah. What number I have to assign? You know that. 39. Update here 39 and click on save. So the next one. This configuration we already completed. Maintain customer under tolerance group OBA3. We know that in basic settings only I created a tolerance group for employees, tolerance group for GL vendor and customer. So no need to do this configuration now. So we'll go for this one. FS00 reconciliation account. Now we'll go to FS00 slash n FS00 and uh, what reconciliation account I have to create? Sundry creators. So now in the account group, select here Sundry creators. Sundry creators coming under balance sheet. Short text, I am updating here Sundry creators. And go to control data. So reconciliation account, I am selecting here vendor. And select to align it in display. Short key, I told you already, I have to update here 0 1 to vendor number. And create bank interest field status group. I'm using here G067 reconciliation account. So now I'll copy this into my company code ALL. Okay. Here ALL. Enter and save it. So the next one. Creation of vendor. How to create the vendor? The T code I'm using here XK01. XK01 for creation and uh, XK02 for change and uh, XK03 for display and one more important point XK01 means I am creating the vendor centrally okay if I said also they can able to see the vendor and MM side also they can able to see the vendor that is XK01 centrally and one more T code is FK01. FK01 means decentrally I am creating the vendor. Only finance team they can able to see the vendor, not in the MM side. And one more important T code is MK01. MK01 means only MM side they can able to see the vendor, not in FI side. So this is also entry question. Three ways I can create the vendor. XK, FK and MK. FK coming under finance. MK coming under M material. Okay. Always in live actually we are using XK01 centrally. So select XK01. Enter now. Update your company code and account group. 
what is written update here al al enter now and here title select the company so here i have to update the vendor name for example i update here before is my vendor and here you have to update a vendor address okay update the address here city bangalore and the country in and the region i am using here 10 10 means karnataka enter now double time and here you can see customer in the business two scenarios are there sometime what happen vendor become the customer or customer become the vendor also in the business so in case if vendor become the customer in future that time i have to update all the details here so right now no need to update anything because we are not working in live server leave this and here i have to update the vendor bank details so as per the vendor we have to update right now no need to fill anything here also leave it and here who is the contact person you can see here i will update my name in the vendor side okay in vipro i am the contact person in vipro and enter and the reconciliation account i have to select here sundry creditors what i created in fs00 and the short key i told you 012 vendor number and the cash management group i have to select here a1 domestic payment because right now my vendor is domestic vendor so you have to select here a1 for international vendor you have to select here a2 and for one time vendor you have to select here ac so now select here a1 enter and the payment terms means within how many days i have to do the payment okay you can see here for time being i'm selecting here triple zero one immediate payment okay and uh, after this the thing is there now your vendor is withdraw okay now click on save now you can see in the bottom vendor has been created in the company board ala okay like this you have to create the vendor and the next one we have to create the number ranges for posting and payment in your email that you got this one obs1 document types so we'll go to obs1 slash n obs1 click on position first document type in vendor is ka ka means vendor document and kg means vendor credit memo and KR means vendor invoice and KZ means vendor payment. So this four document type is standard in accounts payable. And each and every document actually we have a number, you know that standard number. So first you select KR and click on details now. And here you can see the number is 19. So select your number range information and update your company code now ALAL. Click on intervals, interval. So what number I have to create? 90. My business starts from 2021. And here I'm giving the range 251 to 300. So if I'm giving here 251 to 300, what is the meaning? I can post up to 50 documents right now, not more than that. That is the meaning, okay? So this is for posting. And I come back from the screen. And I select now KZ. And I click on details. And here you can see the number is 15. So select your number range information. Update your company code now. ALL. Click on intervals. Interval. But already I created 15. You can see here. So no need to create one more time. Already I created. So here I am giving the number range how much? 151 to 170. Meaning. I can do up to 20 payments, not more than that. Okay. So here we are calling outgoing payment. In accounts receivable, we are calling incoming payment. So right now I can do up to 20 payments in accounts payable. That is the meaning here. So already I created 15. So no need to create one more time. And now one more number range I have to create for a vendor credit memo. Select your KG and click on details now. And here you can see the number is 17. Select your number and information. Update your company code now. ALL. Click on intervals. 
interval what number i have to create number 70 my business starts from 2021 so here i am giving the range 301 to 350 okay and click on save so up to this what and all i am doing you know all our concert and job this is coming under it you now we come for the end user topics so you can see here posting so from here onwards end user so here also there are two types of t-codes for posting one is f-43 and one more is fb60 you can use f-43 otherwise you can use fb60 also f-43 means multiple screen posting and fb60 means single screen posting okay so before doing the posting we have to create some gl so what gl i have to create now purchase account gl i have to create I'll go to some other company code, go to FS00. I'll go to some other company code, for example, PWPW. And this purchase I'm copying now. See in the account group, select here purchase, purchase coming under PNL, short text, I'm updating here purchase account. And go to control data, select your line it and display short key 001. And field status group, I am using here G006 material accounts. Okay. Now this GL, I will copy into my company code, ALAL. And click on save. Same thing, I have to create one more GL, purchase return. Same procedure, account group select here, purchase. Purchase coming under PNL. Short text, I am updating here, purchase return. And go to control data, select your line it will display short key 001 and create bank interest field status group. Here also I am using G006 material data. So this GL also I will copy into my company code ALA. Okay, and click on save. So now I am doing the posting. So I will go to F-43 and uh, update your document date and posting date here and here you can see document type is KR KR means vendor invoice and here you can see the posting key is 31 31 meaning a C C means credit the invoice credit okay and now close this and here you have to select your vendor so right now I created only one vendor select your Wipro and enter now double time update some invoice amount here 10,000 something and here narration being goods purchased from Wipro narration and here you have to select 40 and here you have to select this one purchase account here what I created now select here purchase account enter now double time so while entering you know see i'm getting one more error anyway you know this error right how to solve the error any idea hello hello so we need to go and change the limit from ten thousand. correct so OBA for right. So my invoice amount is ten thousand, but limit is only ten rupees. Now we'll go to OBA for slash and OBA for click on position. Update your company code now ALAL and select your ALAL and click on details. So now you can see here problem once you understand the concept increase the number then click on save so now data was saved now close this and we again actually will leave slash in slash in f-43 update your document date and the posting date and now select your vendor we pro and uh, enter now double time 
upgrade sum amount 10,000. Narration and here I have to select 40. And here I have to select now purchase account here. Select your purchase account. Enter now. See now I'm not getting error. Error is resolved. Here we view star and plus. And go to document and simulate. So now how much you are purchasing through Wipro? 10,000 now. Okay. Now click on post option. So now you can see document was posted 251. After posting, I have to check my balance. So if you want to check the balance in accounts payable, the T code I'm using here FBL 1N. So now we'll go to FBL 1N slash N FBL 1N. So select your vendor, will throw, update your company code and you click on open item and execute. So now you can see red means you know open item is 10,000. So now I have to do the payment, right? So if you want to do the payment in accounts payable, the T code I'm using for payment is this one, post outgoing payment F-53 is the T code for payment. So now my outstanding is 10,000. I will open one more screen here. Go to slash n f-53. Update your document date and posting date. And here you can see the document type is KZ. KZ means vendor payment. So why are we using the old dates of 2021? No, because right now I'm not uh, using live server. No, that's why. Okay. Live server is different. Huh? Oh. Because if I'm using 2022 and currently we are in uh, this month, right? Uh, July month, right? right. My, in case if my fiscal fears, I have to start from uh, this one. This year, April to next year, okay. March, March hmm. 2023, right? Yeah. Sometimes system throw an error. Okay. That, that's why I'm using the past day one. Okay. Last okay. Yeah. Anyway, if you're doing practice from year and also do the same thing. Don't change the year, okay? Yes, sir. So select here this one now, uh, bank account and my outstanding you know 10,000 full payment and here you have to select the vendor. So right now we have only one vendor, select here Vipro, enter now double time and here you can see 10,000, 10,000 nullified, zero balance. Now you can post. So now document was posted. Now close this. And now you can see the outstanding here. Go to list and refresh. Now you can see here no items. Click on yeah. item. And click on cleared item and execute. So now you can see here green. Green means cleared. 10,000, 10,000 nullified, zero balance. So from your end, there is no outstanding. I hope actually you understand this concept, right? Yes, sir. Okay, but right now, as the last three days, we are not facing any issue like my, uh, like my voice. We are giving so no, many. Sir. Right? It's no. all clear. Yeah. It's all clear, right? Yeah. So now, we will go for uh, one more scenario. Now you know how to do the posting in multiple screen. So now I'm teaching for you this one, FB60, single screen posting. So now we'll go to FB60, slash N FB60. And uh, you can see here the company code is RORO, but your company code is ALL. Change the company code. Select your company code. Update here, ALL. And you can see now company code is changed and the transaction here you have to select invoice and right now we have only one vendor select your vendor now Vipro and uh, update the date and uh, update the mode something and update something 20,000 something here narration the same thing being purchased goods from Vipro and here you have to select the purchase account here. 
select your purchase account here and here you have to select the debit and here the same amount you have to update 20,000 so I enter now double time now you can see the balance is matching now 20,000, 20,000 here and here you can go to simulate option and now again how much you are purchasing goods 20,000 to your bro okay now click on post so now the account has posted so this is single screen posting so previously i'm using multiple screen so this is single screen posting so now again i will go to balance fbl online select your vendor update your company code click on open item and execute see now we can see here again red open item is 20,000 and here i will tell you one more scenario after receiving the goods only will come to know all the goods are damaged if all the goods are damaged then what you will do for me around refund yeah we have to return the goods right so that time only one more concept is called credit memo you can see here vendor credit memo f-41 and fb65 f-41 is multiple screen posting and the FB65 is single screen posting. So I can use F-41, otherwise I can use FB65 also. Choice is yours. So what so, if it's uh, partial damage? Partial damage. Like only half of the goods are damaged and the remaining half is good. Yeah, that time actually you have the concept of partial payment, right? I told you okay, in jail. Okay, okay. The same way. Same way. Okay, that's why in jail only I covered partial and residual right if half goods are damaged only half goods are goods then half, half goods only you have to do the payment correct yeah that is a main partial payment but so we what, don't have these uh credit memos there in partial payment yeah we don't have that but anyway partial payment also credit memo we have to do any half goods are damaged no yeah half goods are damaged then we have to do credit memo there also then only the system can understand okay yeah, that's a great move issued for good return, right? Yeah, good return. Whether it is damage or whether it's uh, whatever it may be, we should yeah. create memo for good return. That's the point. Correct. We return, we return the goods here. Create memo. If your goods are damaged, we have to return the goods. That's why we are using this concept. Credit memo. Okay. So, credit memo, one more name is called purchase return in SAP. Okay, we return the goods. You understand? See now we'll go for F-41. Uh, slash n F-41. And here update the same thing, update the document data and the posting date here. And here you can see the document type is KG. KG means vendor credit memo. And here you can see the posting key is 21. 21 means debit the credit memo. Okay. Close this. And here I have to select the vendor. Select your vendor. You throw. Enter now double ten. So how much you purchased? You know that twenty thousand. So here narration being goods return to you throw because of damage. And here posting key I have to select 50. And here GL I have to select a purchase return GL. Select your purchase return. Enter. And update here star and plus. And go to document and simulate. So now you can see here you return the goes to the Vipro 20,000. So now here I will ask one more scenario. So now you are returned the goes to the Vipro. From your end, there is any outstanding is there or not? Hello? I don't think so, sir. We have any outstanding. Yeah, correct. That is the answer. From your end, there is no outstanding. Click on post. So now document has posted. Close this. So now you can see the balance. Go to list and refresh. Now you can see zero balance. From here and there is no outstanding. Then again, what they will do from the vendor side, they will prepare some new goods. Then again, they will send you 
then again you have to do the posting, then again you have to do the payment. Simple. This is live scenario. I hope actually you understand the concept. What is credit memo, right? Yes, sir. But still, I'm one more point I have to tell. Here the balance is zero, but here you can see still red mark is there, right? So if you are pulling the report in the month, and then you will get confused. Why is the red mark, right? So now I want to clear this also. Open item. So one more decode is there to clear this. Now if I come down here, you can see this one F dash 44 clearing of normal item. Okay. So now we'll go to F dash 44 slash in F dash 44. And uh, select your vendor here. We pro and update the company code. ELL enter now. While entering, what is this? Yeah, here the date is problem. Anyway, I will change the date here 2021. Enter. Okay, so now here don't do anything here. Already the balance is zero here. You know that, right? So don't do anything here. Just click on post button. Now document has posted. Now close this. Now you can see the red mark here, correct? Now go to list and refresh. No items. If you click on enter, if you go to clear items and execute, see now you can see here green KG. 20,000 return the goods to the web row. Simple. Zero balance from year end. You understand the point, right? Yes, sir. Because if in the red means, sir, in the pulling the report in the month, then we are getting confused. That's why I'm changing that option actually. Now it's green mean, then you will come to know. KG means now you know the meaning. Credit memo. We are returning the goods to the web row. That's why I'm changing the concept there. So where can we see if it is the open ticket or not? Like we have to come to this page itself or can we see it from somewhere else? Open ticket means what? Open so item. The red sign, yeah, open item. No, no, right now there is no open item. No, why it is open item? From zero balance right now, from your end, correct? Yeah, correct. Then again, vendor, they have to send the goods, new goods. Once we receive the goods now, we have to match the goods. That is called goods received. Okay. If goods are matching only, then I will go for the second concept is called invoice posting. Okay. Once I'm doing the invoice posting only, then you can see the open item, right? Yeah. After posting only, I can see the open item here, red mark, right? Correct. So now no need to do anything here. I'm, okay. waiting, for, I'm waiting for the goods from the vendor. Okay. After that goods received concept, if goods are matching, goods are goods, then again I will do the posting, then again you can see the red mark here. After posting only you can see the red mark. Correct. I hope you understand the concept now, right? Yeah. So up to this today is enough. Anyway, we'll go slowly. Okay. So I have a small doubt regarding that uh, open and close posting periods. Uh -huh. I'll share your screen, I'll tell you now. Yeah. In anyway, you know how to share the screen, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Is it visible now? No, sir. It's not visible. Yeah, now I can see something. Yeah, now I can see that. Huh. Huh. So, so uh, huh. when we used to come for open and uh, uh, close posting period, so the T code was slash and OB52. Mm -hmm. Already we are in open and closing period only, no? Yeah, so when you open this uh, part, you had an option where uh, you are, you were supposed to enter the company code when you open the page itself. No, no, my server is different. So here I have to go to posting period and enter the. No, oh, no, no, not like that. First time if you are creating means you have to go to new entries. OK, then you have to create the update the variant. You already created the variant or not? No, no, I have not created the variant. So you have to create the variant, you have to update that. In OBBO and OBBB, something we are, somewhere we are creating the variant, right? Yeah. After creating the variant, you have to update here. So my server, I'm teaching three models, Central Finance, S4 and FICO. Okay. So the server is totally different, my server. 10,000 monthly, I'm paying for the server only. Okay. Plus in S4 and I'm teaching live server, not like the 800. Okay. okay. But no need to select this and all, because still you are not creating the variant, right? Yeah, variant so, is created. 
variant creator means then give the variant there. What is the variant? Uh, I think it is 001. The variant 001, triple zero 001, no? Yeah. Update there. If there it means it will come. Go to find option. Yeah, this is the variant, uh, confirm. Uh. Already is there now. Why are going for it? Uh? Find option. Already is there. The first option, right? Yeah. Double zero one. So okay. Give here. Uh, don't give. Uh, yeah. Select there plus. Select now here. Update the period from uh, from period one. Don't update there. No, 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 no. See, don't update there from period one. I'm telling. Okay. But I think you are doing two second months, sir. No problem. I say, see, from my end, I'm giving example. You do one only. Okay. Otherwise, you, you will get confused, right? Uh -huh. So you do one only. No problem. So update here 2021 and update here 12. And uh, update there 2022. And update here 13. And update here 2022. And update here 16. And update here 2022. Okay, so don't give enter now. Wait for some time. Again, update the triple zero one here. Second line. Hmm. And uh, select now this one account uh, S. Yes. Update the so here two account is there now. Two account update is it is it is it. Hmm. Same thing you update the month one 2021. Actually, out of love and I'm including me, only one person is missing every day. I don't know who is that. I'm going to see. Kiran Kumar. Mintu Kumar. Okay. Yeah. So now click on save. Already a seat. Means already you created this. Oh, this is showing already created. So now close okay. the, cancel the screen. Cancel it means, oh, yeah, that button. Yeah, click on yes. Now come back from the screen. Click green button. Yeah, now click on position. No, 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 no. Again, go to OB52 slash in OB52. Yeah, okay, no problem. So click on, but already is there, no? Triple zero one. Close this. Close this again. Already is there, no? You created already, right? ADKM or something you created? No. I don't think I created this. No, see in the left hand side only. It yeah. Is you created or not actually? How it is possible? It is not created by me. No, that is why I am telling. See my video properly. As per me, you are not created variant only. This is standard. Standard you are following now. Triple zero one. So, uh, posting period variant is OBB one, right? Yeah, OBB one. You created already. Yeah, I've created that. After that only it came to the step. So what you created in OBB one? Just two seconds. Just two. Click on position. What is related there? Triple zero one. I don't really remember. It's been two days since I created it. No, it's okay, sir. That's no problem. See the video is the same concept. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Anyway, if you see my video, then you will come to know hundred percent. Correct. Yes, sir. Same thing you do. So apart from that, any issue? No, no issue. No, no, no doubt, sir. So I should just go for new entries and then uh, create the uh, entries there and then uh, save it. Yeah, do you, so do you like to try to understand uh, right now? I mean, accounts payable. Okay. Yeah. Still, you are in the basic settings. Right, right. See, two things is very important in the interview. Okay. So, first, we are seeing the communication. Then, mm -hmm. second thing, only we are seeing the technical knowledge. If your communication is good, I can select there also. Okay. If communication also not good, then technical also not good, then uh, doubt only your job. Okay. As for me, your communication is good. Uh, yeah. So, try to understand, still, you are in the basic. Yes, sir. After that, don't complain the trainer. Trainer, if you don't have knowledge, 
is not good. My investment is last. Like that, don't tell any. No, sir. No, sir. Rajinika, no. Rajinika, direct again should be good. Okay. Yes, sir. So try to understand. Okay. Yeah. So do practice. Utilize at least one or two hours per day. Right now, I mean accounts payable. Try to understand. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So apart from that, any errors or something? No, sir. No, sir. Sir, I have. I have one. Share that actually. I don't know like uh, why you are doing uh, so much of uh, outstanding this and that. Seriously, I didn't understand how to solve the issue. And I told you clearly once you post it, then you have to clear the payment from there only. Correct. Why do you multiple uh, open item now? So I didn't create any multiple item. Shall I uh, share my screen, sir? Yeah, share your screen. No, because this is your company, then you only do this and all. No? Then how it is possible? Yeah, this, uh, sir, can you able to see my screen? Yeah, I'm able to see, but SKR1 is the company code, correct? Yes, sir, it's mine. Why this much actually? This 4999 4, I have created, but this 7500 and 10,000, 10,000 is, uh, I'm not sure, sir, why it is reflecting here. No, no, see, the company code SKR1 you are using, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, but no one knows your company code, sir. This is your problem. If someone is using SKR1, then we will come to know, right? Because we are not working live server now. This company code belongs to you. Okay, see what I am telling, then I have to clear this 32,499, right? So now we will do one thing. Go to directly F-07. Right, sir. I said about time. Updated okay, of one date. This one I will take half an hour time now. No full payment. Select your bank. Update there 32,499. 499, correct? Huh? Yes, sir. Enter. Currently it is blocked. Someone is doing practice now. I think. We are using FSM tool. You know what is the meaning for F? I don't know. I say slash in slash why I know the meaning. F means what? FSM tool uh, to clear the. No, no. See slash in uh, SM tool. Slash in is common. Hmm. I'm only using this. Okay, actually, uh, Sagar. Sir? Uh, uh, see, now 935. Uh, now, actually, share me your, uh, this one. Is ready password. Okay. So, uh, I will clear from my end. Uh, okay. Okay, sir. So, because this under it will take some time. I have one more batch at 10 o'clock. So, after that, I have to go to office. Okay. Okay, sir. I'll send uh, SAP password and this thing. So. Yeah, I put this ID password. I need that actually. Okay. Sir. I will place from my end. It will take some time. Okay, but next time onwards, don't do like this. Once you post now, you clear there only. Okay, then you can okay, so. No. Right, so every payment I'm doing like that. I'm clearing there only, right? Then the system is free. If you are increasing your outstanding every day, no, then when you are clearing the payment, right? So, share, share your IP address and password. I will clarify my hand. Once I clear now, then I will inform you, then do the posting. Okay? Yes, sir. I will ping you in the Skype. Not in Skype. This password, IP address, and all uh, confidential, right? Share me in uh, WhatsApp. Okay. 
So apart from that, actually we are facing any issue? No, sir. Uh, Prajita, uh, still now actually I am not seeing any issue or something actually. Every student they will ask something. Huh? Prajita? Okay, I don't know actually. Every time if I am calling you, actually we are facing some issue. So, Deepa? Deepa? Hello? Deepa? Uh, you can able to hear me or actually we are facing any internet issue again actually? No, sorry. No, no sir, it's clear. Uh, so, Deepa? Okay, I don't know. Leave it. Uh, so, Archana. So, uh, yes, sir. Which topic I see you are doing practice now? Uh, now I'm in uh, GL, sir. You are not facing any issues till now. Everything is resolved, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing the video simultaneously. I'm doing like I'll on the video and I'll do it. Okay. So, one, if I do like that, I'll not get any issue. So, 100% you are understanding my video now. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, no problem. Then what about Venkat? You are not facing any uh, issue? No, sir. I'm facing, but they are related to server issues. And I I spoke with Premin. He told he will resolve. No, no. Server issue, leave it. I say, currently, which topic you are doing the practice? I'm asking you. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing chart of accounts, sir. Chart of accounts? Yeah, I, I was. Actually, I don't know actually what I have to tell to you. Okay, chart of accounts still you are in the basic. So right now I'm in accounts payable. Then after two to three weeks, I'll complete the course only. Okay, so try to understand this under in your mind. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Okay. So you already invested the money, but still they actually are facing a lot of issues. Then uh, from my end, I can't do anything now. So please talk to the Premier immediately. Okay. Okay. See. Try to understand when get this and uh, see every day I'm spending only half an hour with you training and all right. If you are doing yeah. practice with me only, then you will come to know the screen after completing the course. If you are asking the error, then if you have time, I can tell if I don't attend, then what you will do. So try to understand when get this and all. OK, yeah, uh, so please call to Praveen now only and ask him now actually. OK, OK, so what about uh, Sheshatri? Sir, Shashi, there it is. Uh, foreign exchange. I am in. Uh, I am uh, practicing sh uh, foreign exchange. Still, mm -hmm. I am not getting any kind of uh, errors. Okay, then it's good actually. So then, uh, yes. then tomorrow we will see this one. Uh, today we will see this one, no? like a full payment, right? So tomorrow we will see down payment, and uh, tomorrow we will see one more concept: uh, cash discount to receive. Tomorrow morning, okay? okay? Okay. So thanks to everyone. So tomorrow morning we'll see you at the same time at 8:45. So thank you. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye.